So you're going to need two radios, one that you're going to listen with and one that you're going to take apart. And any FM radio will produce this effect. Turn that alarm clock radio on, turn it down. We know it's on FM. And what you want to do is tune it to a relatively high area on the dial where there's nothing but static. Now you take the radio that you're going to be taking apart and listen, you tune it slowly until the static goes away. And my hand acts as an antenna, so that's why it, it comes and goes if I move my hands. But now you notice there's not as much static. Now when I turn the dial, the static's there again. So that tells me that this radio is transmitting to that one. It'll work the other way around too. For this project, what you're going to need is just a handful of tools. You're going to need an input source. I don't have a tape deck laying around, so what this is is an 8-track uh, recorder and player. You're going to need some uh, extra wire, uh, any kind of like bell phone wire. This is like 18 gauge. I also took the liberty of snipping some RCA cord and I put alligator clips on the end so that it's easy to connect. I've already taken the screws out of this and so hopefully it should come apart. Yes, it is plugged into the wall and I will caution you that you should know a little bit about electronics before you do this. You don't want to get zapped. I'm leaving the speaker hooked up just so that I know that the radio is on. Now what I like to do when I do these types of projects is dismantle it so that I have direct access to the tuning capacitor. Move that out of the way. Now, this is what does the tuning. I make sure to not throw away the knob because once this is all said and done, I can put this back on here and it's easier to operate. But for those of you that don't, don't know, that's the tuning capacitor or variable capacitor. You have a coil here. You have, and they're, they're usually coated with wax. You have a coil here. These are the ones we're concerned with. And then you have one right here. Some radios only have two coils. Some have four. Now, spreading these coils apart is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Some of them are real easy to get to. I just happened to pick a real winner for a radio. They will break. We're going to cut the coil anyway, but you're asking, well, why am I being so careful? See, at this point, we don't know which coil is going to be the one we're going to use. It's going to be a trial and error type thing. This one may not work, and you might have to put it back together. And the way that they're wrapped like this is very important. I mean, this is what makes your radio not drift all over the place when you're tuning it in. You have to, once you get this spread apart where you can um, get to it, to use it, you have to you cut it, and then we're going to have to shave that enamel coating off of it in order to make a connection. If you feel more comfortable, you can turn the power off when you do this, too. You notice I've got everything turned down, so I will listen to a bunch of static, so instead you're going to listen to me ramble on. Cut the wires off so I get this thing out of my way. We don't need the speaker, except for... As a, as a monitor to let us know that the radio is on. And that's not going to affect anything. Now, I've almost got the coil where I want it. I mean, this, this is the bigger of the three coils. This is coil number one. Oh, before, I, before I cut it, I'm going to go ahead and take my razor knife and shave the... Um, enamel coating off and it's not easy to do I'll tell you that you want to go get as much of it off as you can so that you have it's like stripping wire but it's a lot more difficult you got the wax also you're fighting see there's, it's hard to tell from the camera's point of view but it's starting to get you see the shiny part strip as much as you can off so that you can bite onto it with your alligator clips. Now getting the underside is a little bit difficult. We'll go ahead and cut it. 
This is coil number one. Keep in mind, you may have to rejoin these together. This may not be the right coil. Okay, it's, it's definitely working. There, static's gone. Now, the, the radio that I'm using as a receiver, if you notice, I've got it tuned to the higher end. It just tends to work out better that way. But with the static gone, that tells me, hey, I'm transmitting. And this is the trial and error part. Turn your radio up, and we'll make sure to tune the static out. Keep in mind, I'm like, what, a foot and a half away from the other radio. Once we get this working, we'll, we'll address the, uh, the distance problem. When I put my hand on here, the static clears up because it's using me as an antenna. Sometimes what works is taking a length of wire, strip it off, touch a couple of areas, and this will act as an antenna. It's kind of hit or miss. That, there we go. The one coil that we haven't spread out yet, I just jammed the... Here, I'll show you. At the end of the wire, I stripped off. This little bell telephone wire is uh, great to use. Shove the wire right in between these other coils. Now that's better. That's going to be our antenna wire more than likely. Because of all the wax, it's hard to see. There ended up, there's two coils here. I've, I've got them already spread apart. So anyway, I've got these other two coils spread. And just to double check, I'm still transmitting, no static. And just to show you that it's not a trick. Okay, now it, I need to tune it back in. Now I keep the knob because it's plastic and, 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 and my body's out of the circuit that way. Um, this isn't real stable from when you first start out doing it. You gotta be very gentle on the tuner. Okay, static's gone, we're transmitting. Right, once we find the coils that are the right one to cut for our signal, some distance. My record's about a half a mile which depends on the radio. All right, now, um, I cut this coil. There's, there's two coils here, and if you remember, I said I'm gonna do one at a time. I scraped the enamel off of both of these. I, I un uncoiled them, and I cut the, this one here. This sound, the drums, we're going to be listening for that to transmit onto this radio. So, we know this coil didn't work. We've cut this one. We're going to go ahead and put this signal across it. There's one. There it is. It works. Now, that's only a few feet. So, let's move the radio further back. In fact, why don't we do this? I'm going to unplug this alarm clock radio here. Leave this one transmitting. I'm going to plug it in a little further across the room. And see what happens. 